Hang Seng Index has retraced about 60%. What does this mean? Is it going to continue further down as a correction? Or is it time to look at Hang Seng Index because it's coming into a very attractive level? This is what the video is going to talk about. We're going to look at whether it is time to look at Hang Seng Index. And if it is so, then how can you be trading into the Hang Seng Index? This video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. Now, this is a three-month quarterly price chart of Hang Seng Index from 2000 until right now, 2024. Now, the price movement is still uptrend, as you can see from this trend line here. At the same time, last few bars, that means the last few quarters, we've seen that price getting supported uh, on this particular trend line. Now, one thing to mention, which uh, I want to talk about the last quarter close. The last quarter had a close above the previous quarter high. So previous quarter high, so that's the Jan to March price movement of HSI in 2024 had a seemingly look alike hammer pattern. Okay, so that's deemed as bullish, right? And we saw a close above the high of this uh, hammer pattern, which is shown as this bar here. And that again is to reinforce the slight bullishness that's coming in uh, enhancing. Now let's move through the weekly chart. Now weekly chart, we saw that the start of 2024 to about May 2024, it was an upward movement and then price is right now retracing downwards. Right, I'm going to use this technique which is called Fibonacci retracement to draw from the low to the high. So by doing so, that right now the price is being supported at a 62% Fibonacci retracement. So this is one of the uh, better level because this 62% is known as the golden ratio. So I think that probably we're going to have a bit of support here and at the same time, if you take a look at the weekly close right now, as of the time of recording, it's Friday and the market has already closed, right? We saw that the weekly had a close above the previous week high. So this is deemed as a bullish reversal pattern on a 62% uh, Fibonacci support level. I would see this as the a short-term uh, bullish opportunity because right now uh, price has shown support along this reversal inverted head and shoulder that was formed uh, previously. All right, but one thing to take note of is that overall the trend of Hang Seng is still down. That means that the major trend of Hang Seng is still down, but probably price is right now near to a support level. All right, here I have mapped in two key levels, which are two resistance levels for Hang Seng should price move that. So the first level will be 18,250. Now, why is this level here? We saw that there was a turning point or rather some uh, zones which Hang Seng reacted to around this level, especially around 2016 and then also during uh, 2022. These are the two low levels that Hang Seng reacted to. And I think that probably if price is to move that, we might see the first resistance around 18,250. All right. And the next level of resistance will be around 19,690. And that's probably around 19,700. So with this, I would like to explore the use of warrants because warrants is good for short-term trading, especially when the long-term trend of Hang Seng is due down, but it's showing a short-term price rebound at this moment. All right, right now I'm at the warrants.com.sg page. If you click on warrants 2 and then under warrants selector, you can come inside here to select the relevant warrants using the underlying. So the underlying is HSI. And once you click that, you'll be able to see the call or the put warrant. I'm clicking a call warrant because based on the earlier analysis, I am right now bullish on Hang Seng. So I click on the call warrant. You're going to find that these are the leads of the call warrant. Let me just do a bit of a simulation here. If I think that in the future, uh, Hang Seng will move up to 18,000, 250 as I've said right and this might happen in two weeks later so these would be the projected returns of the warrants listed here 
All right, and my preference is to choose the one with the fire logo because these would be the warrens with the tighter spreads. Now, let's say for example, if Hang Seng is to move up to the next uh, resistance level, so that's about 19,700 in say for example two weeks time then these would be the projected returns now likewise that if Hang Seng doesn't move up and instead that it moved down let's say to 16,000 for example uh, from the last price which is about 17,424 it moved down to 16,000 then this means that the core warrant will lose in value and these are the projected losses overall Hang Seng is still in a downtrend but showing short-term bullish reversal I think that it is prudent to look at short-term trading because the trend is still down. This is the reason why I'm looking into warrants. Now, but any form of trading, including trading the warrants, is high risk. Please evaluate whether this instrument is suitable for you. And I come to the end of this video here. If you would like me to talk about other stocks, please remember to leave me a comment. And I see you in my next video.